What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Pasco. Let's just talk our fifth dude. Come on, Sasquatch Amigos. Thank you for this Brooklyn love. Boom. Let's get right into it. We talking about Joy Chavez. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. It is what it is. Now, um, she is also the baby mother to Future and Bow Wow. Those two, two hip hop artists. Now, Bow Wow, you could say he's an actor. He is an actor. I give it to him. He, he did his thing in uh, Roll Bounce. Uh, every other damn near uh, part that he had it seemed uh, forced acting, but we ain't going uh, I digress. He acted as well. Um, now, she put up an Instagram post about she's still trying to look for love. Guess what? <laughs> love gave up on you, boo. And I'm not trying to be harsh here, but I, you got to be real. You know, a lot of these females are extremely delusional. You see what I'm saying? Like, she should have thought about that before she had two babies from two different dudes. You think somebody going to love her after... Let's go down the list. She got a baby She got a ba baby from two different dudes. She's 34 years old. She's past her prime. Her occupation is... Instagram, putting Crisco oil, rubbing it into her ass cheeks, her breasts, etc. Getting naked, I say naked loosely, showing a lot of skin on Instagram. Does that look like somebody gonna love? Who's gonna love that? Ain't nobody gonna love that, man. Knock it off. Knock it off, man. You know what I'm saying? In your prime, no, you got two dudes. Rich dudes, neither one of them took you serious, and not to mention, you were just caught on like some kind of boat or some kind of date with Diddy. You was getting busy with Diddy as well. You see what I'm saying? And you know, Shorty, <laughs> she got she had um, this recent rant that she ain't do nothing with Diddy. They just kissed. Got just kissed, huh? Yeah, and I'm 5'7". Knock it off, man. You see what I'm saying? Knock it off. And I'm Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, I just kissed. Man, everybody that follow her, she just disrespected. You just insulted your intelligence. She has the reputation of getting with rappers, right? Having a baby by him. She got two. And then you going, you around a mogul, P. Diddy, a rap mogul, hip hop mogul, businessman, entrepreneur, big time investor, and y'all just kiss? Yeah. Okay. I was born at night, not last night, sure. They knock it off. You see what I'm saying? Now, yeah, man, so you might as well. You know, <laughs> you, you could try to do the la, go the La La Anthony route and do the Sierra Prayer, or whatever. Bless, bless. But trust me, you wasting your time. Bless. You know, you are wasting your time because um, you know your. And I think you was with Young Bird, Young Bird as well. I think you said that one time as well. Uh, a hit maker now. So you made all to find love. You made all the wrong decisions. You made all the wrong decisions. You, you feel me? You know you made all the wrong decisions, man. You got to. You got to mimic those that's been in love or those that have a spouse for a long period of time. And most of them be submissive women. Most of them are not on Instagram showing they ass. Most of them don't got babies by two different dudes. Most of them is not trying to get with Diddy. Now, 
obviously, no, nah, I'm not even gonna say get with Diddy. Diddy could get happy to pick and let him. We ain't going there. Yeah, yeah, Diddy could, uh, uh, she's 34, I think. I forgot Diddy's age, but it don't matter. Because a man could date, uh, uh, we got that. That's the, that's our, our cheat code where we could date. As long as she's legal, you know, we could date, bless, bless. We could date whatever age, and she's, you know, 34. So Diddy could go down to 25, 26. That's the power of being a man, the blessing of being a man. So we not going there. But what I'm saying is, well, where we are going at, what I mean is, you date, you dated multiple dudes in the same industry. <laughs> you think that you're going to find love with all of that shit on your catalog? All of that shit on your fucking rap shit? Bless, bless. You think dudes don't talk? You think Future, Bow Wow, you think them cats don't talk? Diddy, they all run in the same circles. They in the same business. But yet, you're trying to follow love. You sound like, no, I don't think she said that. But yeah, man, you know, another case of a delusional Instagram model. And, um, you know, who she played the, the gold digging she played the gold digging uh game and now she getting older and realizing why nobody in like it down. Oh yeah, I forgot the best part. She talking about I'm starting to practice, practice celibacy. I love that shit right there. <laughs> She's going to practice celibacy. <laughs> That's the that's the that's the golden ticket right there. That shows right there who she is. She already did it with all her steps and all the shit. The the the, the uh, multiple baby fathers, the only uh, uh, celebrities. You know what I mean? Messing with same dudes in the same industry on her Lori, Lori Harvey shit, and then she say, you know what? In order to find this, I'm gonna practice celibacy. Which means, the only thing she's worth is her coochie. The only thing she, in other words, the only thing she got to bring to the table is vagina. When a chick say, I'm practicing celibacy, in order to get a dude, too much pookies and ray rays is sexing her, nutting up in her, and breaking out. So let me withhold the cookie so I can keep them around. Last time I thought, last time I heard, personality keep a dude around, a good dude around. Bringing something um, more than personality, adding value, bringing something to the table other than your vagina, keep the person around. You know what I'm saying? Helping him with his business. You know, straightening up his crib, cooking for him. Knowing how to carry a conversation, stimulating his intellect. Those is what keep dudes around. Not I'm going to practice celibacy. You got too much pookies and ray rays. Too much pookies and ray rays is, 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 is having sex with you and running. So now you're thinking you're gonna do the Keisha Cole. You know, I'm gonna practice celibacy. You're gonna do the um uh the Megan Good. She just got a divorce. When a chick says she practices celibacy, she has nothing else to bring to the table except her vagina. Laugh at her and keep it pushing. She already showed you who she was with all the other shit. Now she just added the cherry on top with the I'm practicing celibacy shit. So, um, gentlemen, man, stay sharp, stay blessed. You know, these chicks, day after day, they showing you who they are. Pick the right one. If they have an Instagram at all, you know, she's for recreational use, period. Um, you know, with Bow Wow and Future, them dudes should have watched who they impregnated, but, you know, uh, 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 children is a blessing, but uh, uh, children is a blessing, so, you know, it's already spilt milk. We ain't disrespect the children here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
best place. You know. You don't want a chick that all she could bring to the table is vagina. Because vagina get it, it's it, it gets boring after a while. That that ain't it ain't nothing, man. And you only want 15 minutes special? She only on her back what? For 15 minutes and you gotta deal with her for the rest of that day. And if she don't bring nothing else to the table, it's gonna be annoying. It's your boy Passport Legend. I probably picked out. Adios, Mr. Amigos. Subscribe to the channel, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.